Hi, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about integers. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to see the definition for integers, followed by which we will be studying the types of integers, negative integer and positive integer. And then we will be discussing about adding and subtracting integers, subtracting negative numbers and multiplying negative numbers. So let us see what is meant by integers. Integers are a collection of positive and negative numbers. Positive and negative whole numbers along with your zero is said to be integers. The numbers which are greater than zero are said to be positive integers. And the numbers which are less than zero are said to be negative integers. So integers are a set of whole numbers and their opposites. Next we are going to see the types of integers. There are two types of integers. Negative integers and positive integers. The numbers which has negative sign in front of them is said to be negative integers. Let us see some of the examples for negative integers. Minus 6 plus minus 7 will give you minus 13 which is a negative integer. Minus 56 plus minus 73 will give you minus 129 which is a negative integer. Minus 113 plus minus 82 will give you minus 195. The addition of Two negative integers will give you a resultant of a negative integer. Since it is not a positive integer which you are adding. So when two negative integers are added we get a negative integer as the result. Next we are going to see the next type of integer which is positive integer. The numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 are said to be positive integers because they have positive signs in front of them and they are greater than 0. Some of the examples for positive integers are 56 plus 73 will give you 129, 113 plus 82 will give you 195. Since we are adding up positive integers, we get a positive integer as a result. So this is what is meant by positive integer. Next we are going to see how to add and subtract integers using the number line as a model. We can add and subtract integers by visualizing the addition and subtraction of signed integers. You will be adding and subtracting as the directions on the number line. There are several rules and properties that define how to perform these basic operations. So here you have the number 0 and the positive numbers are to the right of your 0 and the negative numbers can be found to the left of your 0. So visualizing a number line we can add and subtract integers easily. 
Let us see how to do this. We have an example over here in which we are supposed to add 5 to a negative integer minus 3. So minus 3 plus 5 is equal to 2 as we know. Visualizing it on a number line. We have minus 3 over here. Adding 5 to it, we get 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this becomes the result. That is our answer 2. Let us see our next example. So here we have to do the computation for minus 3 plus 5 which gives you 2. Minus 5 plus 4 is equal to minus 1. So we have minus 5 over here to which you have to add 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this will be your result, which is minus 1. So this is how you have to visualize. Our next example over here is phi minus 8 is equal to minus 3. Here we are going to perform subtraction. From 5, we are going to subtract the value of 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So you have your answer to be minus 3. So minus 3 will be your answer. Next, we are going to perform subtraction of a negative number from a positive integer. So we have 8 from which you have to subtract 6. So subtracting 6, you get the value as 2, that is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, you get the value to be 2. So 2 will be your answer. Next, we have an example in which we have to find the sum of minus 9 plus 4 plus minus 6 plus positive 3. So how to solve this? Here we have to rearrange the numbers so that the positive integers and the negative integers are grouped together. The positive integers are taken to the right as you can see plus 4 and plus 3 and the negative integers such as minus 9 and minus 6 are grouped towards the left. So when you add your negative integers, you get minus 15. And when you add your positive integers, you get plus 7. So the resultant will be minus 8. So this is how you have to group your positive and negative integers. Next, we are going to see how to subtract a negative number. Subtracting minus 4 from minus 10 can be done by 
minus 10 minus minus 4 this can be converted into additive inverse of minus 4 that is minus and minus can be converted into plus so we get the value as minus 10 plus 4 which is equal to minus 6 our next example is 3 minus minus 2 what will be the answer 3 minus minus 2 minus into minus is equal to plus so 3 plus 2 you'll get your answer to be 5 next we have another example which says minus 1 minus of minus 7 will be how much minus 1 minus of minus 7 that is minus into minus is equal to plus so that gives you minus 1 plus 7 which is equal to 6 so the answer is 6 Next we are going to study about multiplying negative numbers. A multiple is nothing but the product of any quantity and an integer. In other words, for the quantities a and b, we say that b is a multiple of a if b is equal to Na that is B is a multiple of N and A for some integer N which is called as the multiplier or the coefficient if the value of A is not equal to 0 then this is equivalent to saying that b by a is an integer with no reminder so this is how we can say that b by a is an integer with no reminder if b is perfectly divisible by a Next, we are going to see an interesting example. Here, if you see, we are going to add the integers. That is 2 plus 2 plus 2 will give you your answer to be positive 6. Whereas, if the 2 is negative, then minus 2 plus minus 2 plus minus 2 will give you minus 6 exactly the negative of the answer similarly if it is 3 into 2 which gives you the value to be 6 and the value of 2 is negative in this case that gives you the multiple to be minus 6 which is based on the fact that positive into negative you will get a negative answer so the positive value multiplied by a negative value you'll get a negative value to be your answer so 3 multiplied by minus 5 you get minus 15 moving on we have our next example in which you're adding 5 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 15 if your phi is replaced as minus 5 which is a negative term then your answer will be exactly the opposite that is a negative value of the result 3 into 5 is equal to 15 so here replacing 5 to be negative you get 3 into minus 5 
to be minus 15 which is based on the principle that positive into negative is equal to negative 3 into minus 2 will give you minus 6 Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you understood well about the integers. Thank you.